you will get the different types of objective question jaise mcq filling the blanks one word true false match the column jaise aapke school mein aate hain waise hi rahega and also we have the subjective test where you will get the uh, questions of 3 mark and 5 marks jahan sabse zyada hum marks lose karte hain hai na to over here you will be able to write down the answer and you can upload it so that we can see our group of teacher will uh, look into your answer and they will give you the tips and tricks how to write the proper answer so that you will never lose any marks in the subjective answers okay okay hi Kanwar, hi Jasmine, how are you? Hi Satish, okay. Chalo. Yes, so uh, you have all these things and subjective answer me jaha aapko diagram include karna hai ya fir chemical equation include karna hai ye sab kuch aapko mil jayega we will give you the tips so that you will never lose any marks in the uh, board exam as well as the school exam so to experience all these things uh, what you have to do you have to book a free trial class all the trial classes are free of cost yes Kanwar I am fine how are you? ओके सो ट्रायल क्लास बुक करो और आपका नाम हमारे रेगुलर क्लासेस में एनरोल कर दो ताकि हम रोज रोज रेगुलर क्लासेस में मीट कर सके एंड वी विल डिस्कस अ लॉट अबाउट द डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स राइट चलो सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे एज यू ऑलरेडी नो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फूड प्रोडक्शन व्हिच इज देयर इन आईसीएससी क्लास 8th सिलेबस सो बिफोर गोइंग लेट मी आल्सो रिमाइंड यू हुएवर हैज नॉट सब्सक्राइबड आवर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन बिफोर 30 मिनट्स ऑफ ईच ऑफ द सेशन एंड यू कैन जॉइन आवर सेशन यू कैन इंटरैक्ट विद अस इन द चैट बॉक्स यू कैन आस्क योर डाउट एंड वी आर ऑलवेज देयर टू हेल्प यू राइट so do not forget to like comment and share also yes i can see that many of you have joined my session so please like comment and share okay so that your friends will also get the same benefit let's now move on to the topic of today you will you already know this is the third session of food production we have discussed a lot about the food production in the first two sessions okay so in the first session we have studied about the different microorganisms which are used to make the different types of food right so the bacteria algae fungi like the yeast they are all used in the bakeries for making a lot of different types of bread buns and all so we have discussed all those things सेकेंड सेशन में हमने ऑलरेडी डिस्कस किया कि व्हाट इज एग्रीकल्चर हम कल्टीवेशन कैसे करते हैं व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट प्लांट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द सीजन एंड ऑल एंड द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्रॉप्स व्हिच आर ग्रोन इन इंडिया एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट स्टेप्स व्हिच आर बेसिकली फॉलोड बाय द डिफरेंट फार्मर्स फॉर द बेस्ट प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द डिफरेंट क्रॉप्स राइट एंड टूडे टूडे मेनली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एनिमल्स तो एनिमल्स भी तो हमें हेल्प करता है फॉर गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट फूड आइटम्स राइट कैन यू टेल मी सम ऑफ द फूड आइटम्स व्हिच वी जनरली गेट फ्रॉम द एनिमल्स यस क्विकली टेल मी सम ऑफ द एनिमल्स व्हिच वी गेट फ्रॉम द एनिमल्स काउ मिल्क ओके कन्वर वेरी गुड एनीथिंग एल्स ओके keep on writing and in the meantime let me tell you what are our main uh, focus of dis discussion in today's session we will mainly discuss about the food from the animals the different food which we get from the animals uh, where we will mainly discuss about the poultry uh, the cows buffaloes from where we will get the milk uh, the different breeds of cow and then we will uh discuss about the white revolution then we will go to the aquaculture to be very specific we will only discuss about the pisciculture that is the culture of the fish and then we will move on to the apiculture and the sericulture so do you have any idea about the apiculture and sericulture koi mujhe bata sakte ho ye kya hai apiculture kya hai sericulture kya hai in a very short one or two words uh, mein bata do yes okay so i have got a lot of different chances from convert just mean that we mainly get the meat milk egg very good we get the honey also have you forgotten about the honey yes the uh, the honey is also we are getting from the honey bees so it will come under the animals right yes chalo to dekh lete hain ki hum kya kya aaj hame milne wale hain from the animals 
okay so we have already studied about the different crops which we get from the plants previous session mein humne already discuss kar liya and this is known as the agriculture so we already know agriculture is the art and science of making the different types of crops uh, which are the different kind uh, types of food which we basically get from the plants and animals right so this is nothing but the food obtained by the plants we have already discussed about it now let's move on to what are the different things which we get from the animals now can anybody tell me that see here is a situation which is given to so the little girl is asking her mommy hi i am hungry hi mommy what is there for the breakfast the mama is saying i have made some scrambled egg and toast so anything can you tell me uh, from where do we get the egg and from where do we get the toast both of the food we are getting from a proper source right yes do you agree with me okay we are getting the egg from the hen very good convert and what about the toast okay egg of the chickens okay jasmine great so what about the toast plants very good so basically we get the wheat from the plants then in the industries they make the like they do a lot of different processing they use the different type of microorganisms like the yeast for making the dough and for getting the bread right so over here from this situation or from this breakfast we can see that egg and toast both we can get from the two main sources of food that is the plant and animal theek hai na yes sundaram very good chalo so today mainly we will focus on the different food which we are getting from the animals so animals mein kya hai first we get the milk that is cow buffalo goat from cow buffalo goat we get the milk other than from cow buffalo goat we also get the milk from the camel basically which is used in the uh, desert region theek hai secondly the meat very important we get it from the chicken the hen fish the main fish the total meat of the fish we get it goat pig we get the meat then we get the hens egg we also get the uh, egg from the duck you already know that and uh, the different birds also and the honey from where do we get the honey yes we get the honey from the honey bees yes so let's see how uh, we culture them or what are the different processes uh, basically we follow so that we can get more and more food from them okay yes yak also give milk very good jasmine yes in the hilly region or mountainous region people of mountainous region also take the milk from yak very good and yak spelling is y a k not l okay Uh, i think uh, with mystic you have given the l right okay now animals basically which are reared are at the home or in the different farms they are basically reared and taken care uh, they are given some proper type of food care shelter and proper condition so that we can get a lot of different types of things from them so what are the different types of things they can be the milk egg meat and many more items we can get from them right yes no issue just mean it's totally fine you have at least given me some more information that is great yes now this rearing and raising all of all those animals for getting more and more products this process is basically known as the animal husbandry so what do you mean by animal husbandry it's nothing but a science or branch of science where it uh, deals about the different things the raising of the different animals so that we can get a proper amount of meat milk egg fibers and all the different products which we generally get from the animals right so these are known as this process is known as the animal husbandry it is nothing but one branch of agriculture culture fine now this include whatever products which we are basically getting from day to day yes so when we are getting the different products from them we also should take care of them right without taking care they will not be able to give us a proper quality of the products 
right? So, this include the day-to-day -day care, the selective breeding, raising of the livestock and giving them a proper condition so that they can also feel comfortable in their region and they can give us the different products with which we will be helped right so when we are thinking that they are uh, we are like they are taking care of us because we are getting a lot of different products from them so we also have to take care of them right if we don't take care of them they will suffer from a lot of different types of disease so if they suffer from a lot of different types of disease then the quality of the meat milk whatever they will give those will also be degraded right and we will again get a lot of different types of diseases from them do you agree with me so this taking care and raising of the livestock is very very important and this process is known as the animal husbandry yes exactly this also suffer from the diseases just mean chalo so ye jo hum bol rahe bolte ja rahe ki livestock ko take care karna hoga to ye livestock hai kya livestock is nothing but they are just the animals the domestic animals where we have to domesticate those animals we have to raise them in a proper condition giving them the proper uh, like temperature condition weather condition bolo ya fir food water wo sab kuch hame usko supply karna hoga which will help them to grow and develop properly and then only they will give us a proper amount of production that can be the meat milk egg wool whatever leather whatever it is right so So we have to take care of them so that we will get a proper good quality product from them got it got the idea and this when we are doing it in a large scale this is known as the animal husbandry so ye large scale mein hum jab kar rahe hain to we are not keeping all the animals together hai na jahan poultry ka like uh, चिकन भी होगा हेन्स भी होगा डक्स भी होगा बहुत सारे डिफरेंट बर्ड्स भी होगा उधर ही हम ला के कुछ शीप लैम गोट काउ बफेलो सबको एक साथ रख दिया उधर ही हनी बीज को भी रख दिया सिल्क वर्म को भी रख दिया सो दैट वी विल गेट ऑल द डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स टुगेदर ऐसा तो नहीं हो सकता तो वी कैन बेसिकली डिवाइड ऑल दिस रियरिंग ऑफ द डिफरेंट एनिमल्स इन डिफरेंट ब्रांचेस एंड हम आज वो डिफरेंट ब्रांचेस को डिस्कस करेंगे ठीक है ना यस आई थिंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू आर रेडी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द मिल्क तो मिल्क प्रोड्यूसिंग लाइफ स्टॉक मतलब मिल्क कहाँ से हमें मिलते हैं so we basically get the milk from the buffaloes and the cow other than buffalo and cow we also get it from the camels which are mainly used in the desert area goats se bhi milte hain and yak se jaise jasmine bhi bola ki we also get the milk from the yak which are used in the mountainous region yes very good silkworm help in making silk very good kanwar okay so the animals which produce the milk they are known as the milch animals okay this is very easy to remember m se start hota hai milk m se start hota hai milch okay so the animals who are producing milk they are known as milching animals got it up to this much clear hai yes so who will come under the milching animals it can be the buffalo cow camel goat anything yes now if we think about the meat from where do we get the meat mainly from the chicken turkey the geese the different ducks so from there we get the meat as well as the different eggs yes exactly so this will come under the poultry farming okay this is a total different type of uh science and the different uh, type of uh, rearing of the animals where the different birds are grown and developed so that we will get a lot of different poultry products yes yes poultry farming beta okay now we will see what are the drought animals so if we think about the different breeds of cow we can basically divide them into three main categories one is the drought second is the dairy and third is the dual purpose breed to ye drought animals kya ho sakta hai drought animals are those animals which help to draw or carry a huge load they help in the plowing 
of the agricultural field they draw the bullock carts they help in plowing the land they help in the different transporting systems so this different types of animals have you ever uh, seen any bullock cart have you ever seen this type of things when they are carrying a huge load and they are going over here and there they are basically carrying the huge load yes so these animals who can carry uh, a huge load and work and very much strong these animals are known as the draught animals okay got it ye draught animals ke andar kon kon hoga acha in punjab yes just mean in punjab we can see them yes so it can be the cow buffalo mainly the horses donkey yes they used to uh, carry a huge load sometimes elephant also do you agree with me yes now do you know that india is the largest milk producing country in the world yes so india has low milk productivity fir bhi ye large uh, largest milk producing country kaise hua dekho hamare milk ka milk ka jo bhi productivity hai wo bahut low hai compared to any sort of western countries still it tops the list of the largest milk producing countries because uh in the world the larger number of cattle are present in our country and that is why it is known as the largest milk producing uh country india is the largest milk producing country okay now how, how do you think that this uh, largest milk producing country ho sakta hai india okay so let me give you, uh, tell you one story okay in 1970s one revolution started which was initiated by the government of india and this revolution was known as the white revolution okay to aapne green revolution ke bare mein socha hai uh, suna hai kabhi yes green revolution is mainly for the growth of the different plants the different crops in the agricultural field so that we can get a lot of different crops so that we can eat them properly hai na hamara jo ye huge population hai human population hai isko sabko khana milne ke liye green revolution was very much needed a proper management of the total agricultural field was to uh, very much needed so similarly white revolution hua tha for the production of the milk okay taki india se bahut zyada amount ka production mil sak of milk ho sake and that made india as the largest producer of the milk okay so over here have you ever uh, have you heard about amul yes anand milk uh, union uh, limited yes amul ka doodh to hame milte hai koi bhi market mein and uh, bazar mein jao to amul ka milk hum peete hi hai right the packet milk yes okay so ye amul uh, was the engine that drove this uh, mission to such a successful height during this white revolution in india yes it's the milk company very good jasmine yes so this is all about the white revolution now let us see what are the main features of the white revolution first to ye hai ki adopting the new methods of the animal husbandry so that all the different animals can be reared over there properly growth and development hoga animals ka and we will get a proper amount of production from them milk production always keep it in mind right and secondly altering the composition of the feed that uh, ingredients in different proportion ki kaun se feed dene se ye sare livestock ko kaun se feed dene se hame sabse zyada yield mil sake that is also that was also our focus right in the white revolution so what are the main objectives of the white revolution first to hai ki creating the flood of milk by increase production to itna zyada milk ka production karna hoga taki wo milk ka flood ho jaye ki sabko sabke paas milk pahunch sake to do you know like why we are basically talking about milk and why do you think this milk is so much important for us yes because we already know we have studied in the food chapter ki milk is a complete food why it is a complete food because all the different nutrients ab batao ye 
carbohydrate protein fat vitamins minerals all we get from the milk and that is why we call the milk as a complete food isiliye this milk should go to each and every people of our country and that is why we have to increase the production of the milk samajh mein aaya na yes now increase the income of the rural population wo jo gaon mein village mein jo continuously wo gai ko palte hain and milk produce kar, karte hain to uska bhi income badh sake right to increase the income of those population also and udhar ka income kaise increase hoga due to the urban population kyunki hum jo cities mein rehte hain we will buy from them so that they will get the proper price hai na they will get the proper price they will uh, and with those price they will be able to rear those animals better in a better way and they will give a lot of different products of the cow and buffalo milk product hame bhi milega right so these were the main objectives of the white revolution in india up to this much clear hai yes hi satish okay now domestic animals kept for use or uh, like farm me so that we can uh, raise them in a proper scale and we will get a lot of different profit from them this is known as the livestock wo animals ko hum livestock kehte hain cattle and buffaloes are the main livestock in india we already know and that is why uh, which we get from them is the milk in proper amount and that is why india is the largest producer of the milk राइट नाउ हम अगर ये सारे ब्रीड्स ऑफ काउस को देखेंगे तो वी कैन बेसिकली डिवाइड देम इन टू टू मेन कैटेगरीज ऐसे जैसे मैंने ऑलरेडी बोला वन इज द डेयरी ब्रीड एंड सेकेंड वन इज द ड्रॉट ब्रीड अदर दैन डेयरी एंड ड्रॉट ब्रीड देयर इज अन अदर टाइप ऑफ ब्रीड विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द डूअल पर्पज ब्रीड ठीक ठीक है तो थर्ड जो है वो डूअल पर्पज ब्रीड डूअल पर्पज ओके तो डेयरी बिल के नाम से ही पता चल जाता है डेयरी इज रिलेटेड टू द मिल्क सो द ब्रीड विच प्रोड्यूस मोस्ट ऑफ द मिल्क दे विल कम अंडर द डेयरी ब्रिड ड्रॉट वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट द ड्रॉट एनिमल्स दे कैरी द लोड येस फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अन आदर तो द एनिमल्स विच आर बेसिकली कैरिंग द लोड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू एनिमल्स दे विल ऑल कम अंडर द ड्रॉट ब्रिड ठीक है एंड ड्यूअल पर्पस का मतलब क्या है ड्यूअल मतलब जो दोनों ही करेंगे सो दे आर गुड फॉर बोथ द थिंग्स दे कैन प्रोड्यूस द मिल्क एज वेल एज दे कैन कैरी द लोड एंड दैट इज व्हाई दे विल कम अंडर द ड्यूअल पर्पस ब्रीड गॉट इट अप टू दिस मच यस अभी तक कोई डाउट चलो नाउ लेट सी वॉट आर दिस मिल्च एनिमल्स मिल्च एनिमल्स मैंने ऑलरेडी बोल दिया कि द डेयरी ब्रीड्स विल कम अंडर द मिल्क मिल्च एनिमल्स बिकॉज वी आर गेटिंग मिल्क फ्रॉम देम ओके सो जर्सी ब्राउन स्वेज दीज आर बेसिकली द मिक्सड ब्रीड ऑफ काउज एंड दे आर बेसिकली द एक्सॉटिक ब्रीड विच आर विच आर द ब्रीड्स आउटसाइड इंडिया ओके नाउ मिल्च बफेलो हैव द greater longevity they are also disease resistant disease usko utna jaldi se nahi pakad sakte okay yes madhu and their milk is of high fat content always remember compared to the cow milk buffalo ka milk ka fat content bahut zyada hota hai and some of the common uh, uh, buffaloes who produce as the milk is the murra and the mesana okay yes yes very good satish okay next let's move on to the drought breed maine already bol diya the animals who carry a heavy load for different type of working purpose plowing uh, ke liye ho sakta hai ya fir bullock cart ke liye ho sakta hai ya fir uh, transportation ke liye lag sakte hain to all those animals will come under the drought breeds and it can be any animals like the horses donkey elephant camel who can lift the heavy load and carry them from one place to another yes so these are known as the drought animals and uh, elephants are basically helped in handling the different loads uh, camel bhi humne dekh liya in the desert areas they used to carry the goods from one place to another in the marketplaces also we can see horse ko bhi hum dekhte hain uh, 
हॉर्स को तो हम सिटीज में भी देखते हैं लाइक द वेजिटेबल कार्ड समटाइम्स द हॉर्स यूज टू कैरी द वेजिटेबल कार्ड्स राइट यस बुलॉक तो हम देखते हैं मेनली दे पुल द कैरियजेस इन द रूरल एरियाज इन द विलेज एरियाज ठीक है so these are the different breeds which carry the heavy loads and they will come under the trot breed okay now let's move on to the animals uh, which are coming under this trot breeds and other than this from which we will get a lot of other different products yes so goat if we think about the goat then we get the milk from the goat we get the height we get the mutton also right and if we think about the kashmiri goat we get a proper very excellent quality of wool from them okay so go sheep se bhi hame wool milte hain meat milte hain and they graze generally in the grasses in the different pastures uh, we can see the pigs pigs are also uh, known to be the most economical because of their meat okay ye bahut acche se like uh, we get very good quality of the meat and wo bahut sare different processing hota hai industries mein so that we can get a lot of different types of things uh, jaise bacon ham sausages which we be, uh, use as a english breakfast and we love them to eat so they are all made up of mainly the pig meat एंड ऑल्सो द पॉर्क जिसको हम पॉर्क कहते हैं एंड ऑल्सो चिकन का भी मिलते हैं ना द शेफर्ड स्कीव देम मूविंग फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अन आदर फ्रॉम वन पेस्टर्स टू अन आदर पेस्टर्स आर नथिंग बट द टोटल ग्रीन ग्रेस वेर दे कैन ग्रेज प्रॉपरली एंड गोड्स ऑल्सो आर गिवेन अ डाइट जैसे ऑयल केक्स ग्रैम शेफ द डिफरेंट मिनरल मिक्सचर सो दैट दे कैन ऑल्सो ग्रो एंड डेवलप प्रॉपरली सो दैट वी कैन ऑल्सो गेट अ प्रॉपर प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम दैम okay so this rearing of the livestock is very very important up to this much clear now let's move on to the poultry farming poultry farming kya hai that is the domestication and raising of the different birds to so birds matlab hens ducks turkey geese these are all the different types of birds which are um, raised over there and why they are raising because they are giving us very nice quality of product what product do we get from them we get from them the meat and egg right so we generally get the egg meat from the poultry farms and these egg you already know they are very much rich in protein fat vitamins and minerals so we should include all these things at least the egg we should include every day in our meal so that we will get a proper amount of protein right so we get the meat and egg from the poultry now we can basically divide these chickens into two main types kuch chickens ka egg laying hota hai bahut acha quality ka egg lay karte hain and kuch chicken hota hai jiska meat bahut acha hota hai yes now the egg laying uh, chickens are basically known as the layers okay they are basically known as the layers they are kept in the cages made up of wire and they feed on the different types of things like the maize rice bran cereals usko khane mein dete hain and artificial lighting is also provided to them so that they will get a proper lighting taki usko na lage in the winter ki raat ho gaya to increase the day length they are given so that they can uh, easily feel comfortable and lay the egg properly jaise egg laying ka ek bahut acha example is rhode island red this is one breed of the layer now coming to another breed or we can say another type of the chicken which whose meat is very much famous they give a very good quality of meat they are known as the broilers so they are kept uh, in the ventilated room with the sawdust taki uska jo bhi droppings ho wo bahut acche se absorb kar sake they feed the uh, water and uh, regular interval mein usko food water dena hota hai and some of the examples for good quality of the meat is ross and peterson chickens okay so these are basically we can like this we can divide them into egg laying and giving meat okay so layers and broilers these are the two main categories we can divide them okay 
now so these are all the different types of chickens which are uh, mainly grown in our country so most of them uh, many of them are indigenous indigenous ka matlab hai jo hamare country ka hi uska ट्रेडिशनली आ रहे हैं और उसका स्टार्टिंग हुआ है एंड मेनी ऑफ देम आर ऑल्सो एक्सॉटिक एक्सॉटिक मतलब द ब्रीड विच वी हैव बोरोड फ्रॉम द फॉरिन कंट्रीज ओके सो दीज आर ऑल द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ चिकन विच आर ग्रोन इन आवर कंट्री नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द थर्ड पार्ट दैट इज द ओशन तो डू यू थिंक दैट ओशन इज ऑल्सो फिल्ड विद अ लॉट ऑफ फूड विच वी ईट Yes. Can you tell me some of the food which we get from the marine water or the ocean or sea water? So, सबसे पहले हमारे दिमाग में कौन सी नाम आते हैं? Fish. Yes. Very good, Madhu. Yes. Fish. Canver. Very good. So, fish आते हैं सबसे important. थिंग विच वी गेट फ्रॉम द मेरीन वाटर ओशन सी राधर फिश तो हमें पॉन्ड फ्रेश वाटर में भी मिलते हैं राइट येस क्रैब ग्रेट फिश क्रैब एनिथिंग एल्स और कुछ प्रॉन प्रॉन खाते हो ना येस ओके सो दिस फिश प्रॉन क्रैब एंड द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मोलास्क वी बेसिकली गेट दम फ्रॉम द सी एंड ओशन so the total culture and rearing and growing all those things in the water is known as the aquaculture aquaculture matlab wo pani mein grow ho raha hai but if we think about the pisciculture we will only talk about the rearing of the fish okay so pisciculture ka matlab hai only rearing of the fish uh, so that we will get the good quality of food good quality of fish from them and if we talk about the aquaculture to aquaculture ke andar lobster um, prawn octopus squid uh, like other different mollusk bivalves jo khate hain other countries also they eat and uh, prawn aa jayega crab fish everything will come under the aquaculture okay up to this much clear yes octopus also chalo so here for rearing the fishes properly they are basically reared in a proper way so there are three main types of tanks within which they can grow so pehle jo hota hai the fish eggs are developed and they hatches into the hatchlings jo small small hatchlings hota hai fish ka usko hum kehte hai fry ओके तो दिस प्राइस काम इन द नर्सरी सो नर्सरी इज नथिंग बट अ वेरी स्मॉल स्मॉल पॉन्ड वेयर द एग्स विल बी हैश्ड एंड दे विल बिकम द वेरी स्मॉल स्मॉल फिश व्हिच इज नोन एज द फ्राई ओके नाउ आफ्टर दैट दिस फ्राइज आर कन्वर्टेड इनटू फिंगरलिंग्स ताकि फिंगरलिंग्स का साइज थोड़ा सा ज्यादा बड़ा होगा when this fries are given inside the rearing tank so rearing tank mein kya hoga the fries which will be like this much of uh, length they will become like this okay so we will call it as the fingerlings fingal jaise length mein aa jayega then those fingerlings are given into the stocking tank and wo stocking tank mein kya hoga they will mature to become big big fish okay हाँ चाइनीज इट फिश वेरी मच यस इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इंडिया ऑल्सो आप अगर वेस्ट बेंगाल में जाओगे कोलकाता में भी दे ऑल्सो इट फिश वेरी मच यस डू अग्री विथ मी ओके चलो सो दीज आर द थ्री स्टेप of uh, tanks first the hatchlings will be coming out in the uh, from the eggs in nursery tank then it will be given into the rearing tank where a little bit growth will be there and rearing se stocking tank mein jab hum denge to they will become the big fish yes okay in bihar also okay great so this is all about the pisciculture let's now move on to the sericulture sericulture kya hai सेरी देखो एस से स्टार्ट होता है सिल्क वर्म भी एस से स्टार्ट होता है तो लाइक दिस यू कैन रिमेम्बर दैट द सेरी कल्चर इज नथिंग बट द रियरिंग एंड द कल्टीवेशन ऑफ द सिल्क फ्रॉम द सिल्क वर्म रियरिंग ऑफ द सिल्क वर्म सो दैट वी कैन गेट मोर एंड मोर सिल्क अभी ये सिल्क वर्म द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सिल्क विच वी कैन गेट इज ब्रॉडली डिवाइडेड इंटू 
फोर मेन कैटेगरीज जैसे है कि मलबेरी सिल्क वेरी एक्सपेंसिव तसर सिल्क अगेन एक्सपेंसिव एरी एंड मुगा okay so these are the four main types of silk which basically we get from the silk worm to hamara jo silk worm indigenous hai indian jo silk worm hai uska scientific name hai bombyx mori okay bombyx mori is a species of the like silk worm which from which we get a good yield of silk okay now let us see what is the life cycle of the silk moth देखो फर्स्ट द सिल्क मॉथ विल ले द एग यस सो आफ्टर द एग विल हैचेस व्हाट विल हैपन द लार्वा विल कम आउट एंड दिस लार्वा बेसिकली विल फीड ऑन द मालबेरी लीव्स सो मालबेरी लीव इज द मोस्ट फेमस फूड फॉर ऑल द सिल्क वर्म तो मालबेरी जितना अच्छा क्वालिटी का मालबेरी लीव्स होगा उतना अच्छा क्वालिटी का सिल्क हमें मिलेंगे ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर ठीक है ना तो दे विल फीड ऑन द मालबेरी लीव्स एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम दे विल स्टार्ट मेकिंग द कोकून दैट इज द प्यूपा स्टेज हम जो प्यूपा स्टेज बोलते हैं ओके द नेक्स्ट स्टेज तो प्यूपा के अंदर क्या रहता है लाइक द कोकून और प्यूपा तो ये स्टेज का नाम है एंड कोकून इज द टोटल कावरिंग तो ये कवरिंग के अंदर क्या करते हैं कंटिन्यूसली इट विल सीक्रीट समथिंग विच विल हेल्प इन मेकिंग द सिल्क थ्रेड वो कंटिन्यूसली इधर इसके अंदर रहेंगे एंड दे विल मेक द सिल्क थ्रेड विद इन दैट ओके एंड आफ्टर सर्टन टाइम वी कैन कीप द कुकून इन साइड द बॉइलिंग वाटर so that the pupa will be killed over there and we can extract the different silk thread from this and after getting the silk thread we will uh, in the different industries they will make the total silk cloth yes exactly so after that when the pupa again will grow they will grow into the adult moth so that the adult can again lay the egg and again we can get a lot of good quality of the silk yes silk is a natural fiber natural kyun hai kyunki hum to koi um like chemicals use nahi kar rahe hai na artificially they are growing on their own right yes kanishka chalo now let's move on to the next thing the last thing that is the apiculture to so, apiculture kya hai it is nothing but uh, rearing the honey bees so that we will get more and more of the honey do you like to eat honey yes kanishka yes do you like to eat honey from where do we get the honey we get the honey from the honey bees so where the honey bees are kept this place is known as the apiary okay and bee keeping is very important uh, the maintenance of the bee colonies so hum pehle dekhenge ki bee colonies colonies mein rehta kaun kaun hai so if we think about the different types of bees which are present in the bee hive one bee hive so we will see there are three main types of bees one is the queen bee second is the drone and third is the worker bees okay to queen bee sari bee hive mein matlab ek hi bee hive mein ek hi queen rehta hai ek hi rani okay so iska kaam kya hai they are largely uh, like fertile female single large fertile female they can like lay the egg second ek bee hive mein there will be like 10 to 15 drones jo फर्टाइल मेल होता है विच विल बी प्रेजेंट इन दी हाइव एंड इफ वी थिंक अबाउट द वर्कर वर्कर बी सबसे ज्यादा होता है बट दे आर स्टेराइल दे विल नॉट बी एबल टू रिप्रोड्यूस ओके दे आर द स्टेराइल फीमेल मैक्सिमम नंबर का होता है इसको हम नर्सिंग बीज भी कहते हैं क्योंकि वो नर्सिंग करते हैं कंटिन्यूसली वो सबको खाना देते हैं दे यूज टू क्लीन द बी हाई विद द हेल्प ऑफ देयर विंग्स एंड ऑल्सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट वर्क विच आर डन बाई द worker bees yes okay kanishka abhi tak to class 4th ka uh, uh, nahi start hua you can go with the different videos of swiflon which are going for the vedic maths and all you will get a lot of different tips over there right now 
honey this is the very important thing which we get from the honey bees this is nothing but the digested flower nectar to kya hota hai na the honey bees go to the different flowers for getting the nectars and after getting the nectars they come to their bee hive and they basically vomit it and after vomiting they will stay for some time and they will be dheere dheere converted into honey and we basically eat the vomiting of the bee hive that is the honey can you imagine yes yes honey have a lot of different medical use exactly madhu okay so it is made up of the sugar water minerals bahut sare enzymes rehta hai we ha uh, the honey has a lot of different medicinal value medicinal uses and like cough and cold jab hota hai to we used to take honey so that it will give a cooling effect a good uh, proper soothing effect in our throat right so other than this honey we also get the bee wax so this is nothing but the by product of the worker bees we uh, ye bee wax se kya hota hai the different type of cos cosmetics candles polish uh, the different polishes which are done on the different furnitures to ye sab hame milte hai from the bee wax clear hai up to this much yes okay chalo so this is all about the animal husbandry and uh the chapter the food production so let us now discuss quickly some of the question answers let me see who will give me most of the answers correctly i can see many of you are there in the session so quickly give me the answer in the chat box okay one by one and i hope that all of you have already subscribed our channel and do not forget to click on the like button okay chalo so quickly give me the answer define animal husbandry what will you write over there Yes. What will you write in the animal husbandry? Animal husbandry is nothing but the branch of agriculture where the different animals are raised so that we can get proper the different types of products from those animals. Yes. Now let's move on to the livestock. What do you mean by livestock? Yes. What do you mean by livestock? livestock is the different domesticated animals right from where we get the different uh, production we get the different products like the meat egg uh, milk flour leather wool and also they help us in carrying the different things from one place to another yes now let's move on to the poultry farming what do you mean by poultry farming Yes very good madhu you have given me the correct answer yes so they are used for uh, like getting more profit right yes so what is poultry farming it is the rearing of the different birds domestication of the birds so that we will get the different eggs meat from them right yes what do you mean by aquaculture now yes good try good try tell me what is aquaculture so aquaculture means aqua se pata chal jata chal jate hain ki water mein culture hoga to water mein kya kya culture hota hai it can be the fish mollusk the different plants algae crustaceans like the crabs prawn and all yes very good madhu yes chalo so let's now uh, solve a value based question so over here one condition is given just read with me surjit read an article in the newspaper that prolonged and excessive use of the pesticides and the fertilizers lead to the cancer in human being yes we also know that and he also saw that increased number of cancer patient uh, is there in his town that is also we know right so he started educating the farmer in his own town to minimize and stop the uh, use of the different chemicals which basically they use in farming okay and adapt the organic farming so from here i have some questions for you one is what is the most common pesticides which is used in our country any idea yes sabse zyada kaun sa pesticide hamare country mein use hota hai hamare desh mein use hota hai in india yes 
let me see second give one difference in organic farming and chemical farming to ye organic farming ko adopt karne ke liye kyu bola chemical farming farming or organic farming ka difference kya hai yes satish kanwar i am asking for the pesticide name of the pesticide yes okay acha let me see and what value of surjit you can see over his yes the most commonly used pesticide is ddt ओके एंड ये ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग में क्या होता है दे डू नॉट यूज एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ केमिकल्स तो सारे ऑर्गेनिक चीजें जैसे ड्राई लीव्स ड्राइड लीव्स द डिफरेंट एक्सक्रीट आई यूरिन ऑफ द डिफरेंट एनिमल्स दे यूज टू मेक द मैन्योर विथ इट एंड दे यूज इन द एग्रीकल्चरल फील्ड ओके एंड केमिकल फार्मिंग डेफिनेटली दे यूज द केमिकल्स एंड दैट इज वेरी वेरी बैड फॉर द क्रॉप्स ऑल्सो हो सकता है कि क्रॉप का ईल्ड बहुत अच्छा होगा बट दिस आर वेरी वेरी हार्मफुल फॉर आवर बॉडी वेन वी विल ईट दिस क्रॉप दे विल कॉज द डिफरेंट डिजीजेस इन आवर बॉडी ड्यू टू दिस इंसेक्टिसाइड पेस्टिसाइड फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड ऑल सो द वैल्यू विच वी गेट फ्रॉम सुरजित एक्शन इज अ वेरी गुड रेस्पॉन्सिबल सिटीजन डेफिनेटली मधु वेरी गुड येस एंड ही इज अ रेस्पॉन्सिबल पर्सन लीडरशिप क्वालिटी है उसके अंदर इनिशिएटिव टेकर है डेफिनेटली ही टूक द इनिशिएटिव ऑफ गेटिंग द मेकिंग द फार्मर्स टू लर्न ऑल दिस थिंग्स एंड कंसर्न सिटीजन ओके चलो सो लेट मी गिव यू वन फैक्ट दैट पिग्स दे आर द कॉमन फॉर्म एनिमल्स एज वी ऑलरेडी नो आर थॉट टू बी द फोर्थ मोस्ट इंटेलिजेंट एनिमल can you imagine just after the chimpanzees we know they are intelligent dolphin and elephant uske baad kaun aata hai pigs okay and a group of pigs are called the sounder and the pig can run 11 miles per hour can you imagine yes so let's see what we have already studied today we have studied about the animal husbandry that is what are the food which we get from the animals how do we take care of the different animals and then we have studied about the apiculture and sericulture i hope that you have already understood whatever we have discussed we discussed about the different food of animals we get the sericulture se hame silk milta hai pisiculture se fish milte hain poultry farming se egg milte hain aur meat milte hain livestock uh, we can Uh, divide them into two main type dairy se milk milta hai dairy breeds se aur drought breeds se heavy workload uh, jo carry karte hai those will come under this drought breed and then we have studied about the apiculture apiculture se hame honey milte hain and rearing of the bees so three types of bees also what are their main function role in the bee hive we have also discussed that is the queen drone and worker right Yes, camel is drought bit. Very good, very good, Madhu. Okay, so let's see now who is the student of the session. Let me see who can guess who is the student of the session today. <laughs> okay, Madhu is telling, ma'am, me. Great. So Madhu definitely is the student of the session. Second. Kanwar has given me most of the answers correctly. Definitely, just me also. Okay, thank you very much for staying till the end and giving me all the responses, proper answers. Whenever I asked you the question in between, at the end, at the first, and all. Okay, so clap for all three of you, Madhu, Kanwar, and just me. Thank you very much for staying with me. till the end and uh, thanks to all of you who are listening to my session and staying till the end with me so that's all for today's session we will again meet in the next session so let me remind you who have has not subscribed our channel so please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon and so that you will get the notification before 30 minutes and you will never miss any of the update of the upcoming sessions right so stay with us um, with swift learn classes and with me also i am your trishika ma'am and uh, thank you very much do not forget to like comment and share we will again meet in the next session so bye bye take care stay safe